There are colleges which impart education and then there are colleges which impart experiential learning. What's the difference? Let me tell you. One way is, okay, they'll use the chalk and talk method, ask you to learn like the normal how it has always been. But that way you learn this much. But what if you learn by doing things, you learn by making your own mistakes guided by the scientists and then you grow in your career. That's called experiential learning. Now, experts have always said that biotech is applied science, okay? So you have to learn by experiencing it. You can't just learn from books and, you know, memorize and go and vomit in the exam. That's not the right way of to learn. And that is where this college comes into picture. This is one of the best colleges in Bengaluru as we speak. And also, not just in Bengaluru, it was the first college in the entire Asia start a course on stem cell research. And today as we speak, it is one of the best colleges. The name is MIRM, Manipal Institute of Regenerative Medicine. One important fact you should know about Manipal Academy of Higher Education is that it is ranked fourth in NIRF 2024 university rankings and is officially recognized as an institute of eminence by government of India. This highlights their academic excellence and global impact they are creating with their educational services. Yes, you heard me right. Manipal, the brand name which has been a hallmark of quality education and quality healthcare. And now that they have this amazing college right here in Bengaluru, I must tell you, you should always check out the exponential growth which you can get from this particular organization called as MIR. Headed by Dr. Jyoti, who is also a very good friend of mine. She took me to uh, her campus recently and I'm here to tell you that it's not that I'm telling you out of my personal bias. Rather, I would say that I went there, I interact interacted with the faculties, I interacted with the lab staff, I interacted with the students who are learning there and this is my um, personal opinion as well as the entire survey which we did on their campus, we found out that they are following a solid methodology to teach students on stem cells. Let me first uh, quickly guide you on what stem cells is all about. So like when we are born, so we have the placenta, it has got some cells which can be used to grow any organ of the body, right? Now, till date, we all only know is, okay, this can be used to grow organ, but till now there has been no further progress, right? But MIRM Manipal is at the forefront of this technology. They're not just training students for this. They are helping students learn, grow, and that's what I call it experiential learning. Now their labs are state of the art because they are themselves doing research there. So it is not just an academic institution, they're doing research there. So you can say that it's a mini startup in itself because a lot of papers are published, a lot of research is happening under the guidance of Dr. Jyoti and her team. And it is equipped with advanced technologies such as flow cytometry, confocal microscopy, and molecular biology tools. In fact, they also have a PG diploma in stem cells as well as regular program, master's program in stem cells and regenerative medicine. Now more details about that is given in the description. You can always check. But let me come back to the video and also tell you about the world-class faculty now. Now, renowned researchers have joined this particular organization because they don't just get a chance to teach, but they also get a chance to head their research. So that is why the professors with global recognition in stem cell technology and regenerative medicine have joined this particular college. Now, apart from that, they also have industry collaborations with various startups across the globe, especially in Bengaluru, and they conduct a lot of mentorship sessions. They have an independent placement cell, which is dedicated 24-7 helping students. And last year, 97% plus students got placed. So this is where they have come up with a foolproof solution where you enter as a student, you come out as a professional. Many of the students, even though they are getting placements, they are so much passionate about stem cells that they chose to go for a PhD also. And their course is designed to meet the latest trends in stem cell technology and regenerative medicine. Now, the practical exposure they are giving doesn't, it makes you so much equipped that you don't need to go out to you know, do any kind of hands-on training. They have in-house internships and collaborative research projects available, so you again don't have 
have to go out to do that. You get everything inside the campus. Very soon we are going to come up with the campus video. Right now it's under editing. So as soon as it out, it is out, you will see their state of the art campus, laboratories. You will see me talking to their faculties and of course talking to Dr. Jyoti herself. The best part of MIRM is the collaboration and partnerships they have forged with top-notch institutions like Indian Institute of Science and various biotech companies as well. Now, collaborations with top international universities, research institutes and biotech companies is a hallmark of um, MIRM. They have joined, they offer you joint research opportunities, publication support and internships and there is a high demand of students who are coming out of MIRM in biotech companies as far as I know and the best part is almost every faculty out there has got international research experience. You don't go in there just to get a regular research experience, you get exposure to uh, international research experience. Also scholarships are available if you apply for PhD there itself and you can uh, you know complete your PhD. So what you what starts is a small research project in your master's can actually become a PhD thesis and you could be granted a doctorate from Manipal University. So this is an amazing college you should uh, consider and uh, they have a very strong alumni network which uh, has been placed in top-notch companies and these are the guys who come back and keep helping uh, the existing students get hired. What I really personally loved is the research-based learning, experiential learning and giving the students a free hand on innovative projects. Teachers there don't tell you what to do when you want to do something they'll say okay let's do and see how it comes out and then you learn. So you know you remember better when you do it in the lab and you either make a mistake or you are successful right and this supportive environment and skill-oriented development which they have they are fostering for the uh, students there is really very helpful for uh, the career growth of the students. So my suggestion to you is go ahead, check out Manipal Institute of Regenerative Medicine. The admissions are going to be closed very very soon because they have limited seats and they do not take even one single student extra because they want to maintain quality. So please check it out. They have three to four master's degree program in uh, stem cell and regenerative me medicine, immunology and translational health and also in therapeutics. So various programs are available for uh, students as well as um, professionals. If you are interested, if you've already done master's, then you can go for one year postgraduate diploma program also. So according to me, like I had told you, top colleges in Bangalore, Manipal Institute is in the top four and they have been doing it consistently. They are rated very highly in by the government agencies also. So go ahead, enroll yourself and if you have any questions about Manipal Institute of Regenerative Medicine or for that matter, any other college or university, please put them down. I will certainly make a review video on them so that you are clear on what's the downside, what's the upside and how can you grow with that college or university. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon on the next one. Until then, keep shining. Take care. Bye-bye.